Hello and welcome to the Dream Team. I'm Melissa, the M of the um, <laughs> the M of the um, Dream Team. Okay, you might recognise my voice from the introduction, the brief introduction I had at the beginning. But we have got a tag to do, so should we get started, shall we? It's a get to know me tag. Okay, okay. My name is Melissa Ann Fabian. Uh, I'm here. Yes. Um, my nicknames are Mickey, well, Mickey Mouse, um, Millie, Mel, and other ones I can't remember. My birthday is the 27th of October. My place of birth, England. I don't remember exactly where. My star sign, I'm guessing like my zodiac sign which is um, a Scorpio. My occupation, well, I'm a student, but I guess this as well, YouTubing. Best feature, I yeah, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Braces? No. Piercings? Nope. No, no piercings. Tattoos, again, no. Um, I'm a righty. My first best friend well was Megan but currently my real best friend which I guess uh, I uh, which I value a lot more is Rebecca my first award was one I can remember was a medal I got in trampolining my first sport where I did properly like wasn't just um something I did at school was trampolining my first real holiday well I don't know where they're going to the centre parks centre parks is um, an actual holiday or oh, centre parks I don't know Cent it was that uh, is actually a real holiday but I guess that counts otherwise oh I don't know yeah or any other one I went with my best friend Rebecca my first concert I haven't been to a concert, as far as I know. My favourite film is, um, I got a lot of actually. I like um, the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World and all that, I like those. I like Die Hard and um, Olympus Has Fallen, um, called White House Down. But I also like animated films. I like Disney films. I like How to Train Your Dragon, which is one of my favourites of that. Yeah. My favourite TV show, Gravity Falls, by far. My favourite colour. Um, again, I've got a few. I, I like blue. I like red. Black. And like a gold colour. And purple. My favourite song... Um, my songs, I like a lot of songs, I really do. It's hard not to, um, not like one for me. Like, I like every single type of song. I like songs, uh, but to be honest, I like ones with a good beat. I like songs in different languages. I like trying to, um, sing it, because, you know, you don't, I'm English, so, you know, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know the, um, language, so I like to try to, um, do that. My favourite restaurant, well, I like Longhorn Steakhouse, and I like, Har I like Longhorn Steakhouse from here, in America, and Harvester from England. My favourite store, Hot Topic. My favourite book, again, loads of books, I re I've read so many books I can't pick a favourite. Favourite magazine, uh, the Lego magazine, I used to get that, um monthly or yearly or something, I don't know, I don't remember, but I, I got used to get a Lego magazine. I have a few of its shoes. Boots. I like boots and trainers. That boots but I like boots. I'm currently feeling uh, energetic type I've got a sort of a mixture between energetic and tired and talkative, you know, it's kind of a mixture. Uh currently single. Kind of single or taken. I'm single. Uh currently eating. Nothing. I'm eating air. I'm currently thinking about videos. Um, this test. I don't know. 
Um, currently watching the screen. I'm currently wearing this. I mean, you can see I'm wearing a, fl a blue flannel t-shirt. Like, fl I love flannel. And some jeggings. In the future, want kids? Well, yeah, in the future, definitely. Uh, not now. Uh, want to be married? I guess so. I mean, I don't know. Future careers in mind. Um, well, I'd love to do this for a career, but I don't think I'll be able to become famous enough to do this as a career. But I'd love to be an author. I'm currently writing a book. Um, or an artist. Anything else? I'm not sure, though. Future, where I want to live? Well, <sighs> to be honest, I feel like I'd sort of end up staying wherever we end up staying. But I would like to at least visit Ireland, but part of me wants to live there. I would like to live in Ireland, cause, or at least visit it, because apparently it's really pretty and I really want to see it. Okay, do I believe in? Ready? Okay, this is where they're going to start to hate me or something. Do you believe in God? No! Sorry, I don't believe in God. Do you believe in miracles? Nah. Do you believe in love at first sight? I mean, you could, um, no. No. You might like the person, but I don't think you'd fall in love with them, because they could have an awful personality, couldn't you? You could see them, but, you know, you they could have an awful personality that you don't like, or... You can't fall in love with. Do you believe in ghosts? Yeah, I've seen them. Oh, once I um, sorry, I just need to so, so speak about this. I saw one once. Um, one time I can remember. It wasn't that long ago. Maybe like a couple of years. Maybe I mean, not even that really. But my sister was in the bath, and I was drying my hair. And I sort of very briefly glanced over my shoulder and saw a figure um, standing by the um, banister. Very, very slightly taller than, or around the same height as the banister, very slightly taller, I believe. And I thought it was my sister, but when I turned around fully, they were gone. She was gone. It was a girl, but she was gone, which is why I thought it was my sister. But I just realised I saw a ghost and I was like, oh God. And I was like, she's in the bar still. She, it was obviously wasn't her, but you know. <laughs> There's other times I've seen ghosts, but you know. Aliens. Do you believe in aliens? Yeah, kind of, yeah. But it'll be kind of selfish, I guess, or something. Another word that's probably better than selfish. To think that we're the only people in the universe. There's so many planets that would be able to have it live. And they could be so. They could be. have different abilities to survive in different conditions. So, you know. Uh, so, I, I, yes, I believe aliens would be real. Do you believe in, um, is there, do you believe in soulmates? I mean, they could be true. They could be. But at the same time, they could not be. It's a, I don't know situation. But soulmates could be real. I have nothing to go against it. Do you believe in heaven? Not really, I don't. Um, I don't think I would know where heaven would even be. And if I don't believe in God, why would heaven exist? Do you believe in hell? I mean, hell is more of a chance of being real than heaven. But, you know. Do you believe in kissing on the first date? No. So, first date, yeah. Sure, no, I don't know. Kissing on the first date, no, I'm fine. Do you believe in yourself? In, like, what way? I don't know. I believe I'm here, I guess. Or I could not exist, or I could just be particles. I don't know. But, yeah, sure. I believe in myself, I guess. Um, next one. Uh, there's a few of these that might be a very slightly overlapping ones I've done before, so I'll just miss them. Uh, share your favourite subject in high school. Now, now, I haven't gone to high school because I'm homeschooled currently. So, you know, and high school's an American thing. But in secondary school, which is sort of the same 
the same sort of age limit, age type. Um, my favourite one, I, I loved art. Oh, I love art. Um, ICT. And I liked drama, mainly because of the fact that I scared everyone in it before. Because I'm a very, surprisingly enough, I'm very quiet. Very quiet. A lot of the time in school, I was the most quietest kid there. And they didn't expect me to... Um, <laughs> because in one of the performances, I was a character that had to shout. I was an angry character, and I had to shout. Now, honestly, I don't think they believed I was going to do that. But, as my character, I did it very well, and I shouted. And I really performed it as an angry person. It was awesome. I liked it. Of course, it scared me a lot of the time to actually go up and perform. And I didn't like it very much. But I liked being able to express myself. But... I was originally going to do that to my GCSEs, and I'm not so sure I would want to do that now, which is a good thing. Um, what is your favourite drink? Um, tea. Hot chocolate. Definitely, I love hot chocolate. I like a lot of fizzy drinks, but hot chocolate is tops it. What's your favourite song at the moment? At the moment? 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 <laughs> Um, let me think. Let me think. At the moment, oh my god, there's so many songs I like at the moment. But, I mean, I like, um, to, um, to Kweppo, uh, Jagved and Overlegen. Again, or uh, songs in different languages. Really get me. My, what what would you name your children or what have you? Um, I mean for a for a girl, I'm sort of I like the name Galaxy or Amelia. So those are two names I would like as my child, for a girl, and for a boy I guess Arthur maybe. Or Edward or something, I guess. Or Tom or Thomas, I don't know. I've got quite a few names I like. But for a girl, I really, really... I do like um, Galaxy or Amelia. Those are nice names. Have you participated in any sports? Yes. <laughs> uh, what is your favourite animal? Um, I like dragons, but they're mythical, I guess. They're real. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, but I love dolphins. Dolphins and giraffes. But dogs are cute. Dogs are nice. I've got many dogs and giraffes on my bed, so. <laughs> um, what's your favourite perfume? I don't have one. But, like, I mean, I don't know. I don't have a favourite perfume. I don't really perfume. I don't wear perfume. Um, what is your favourite holiday? Well, to be honest, currently it's um, I think it was Thor Park or Alton Towers that it was one of them. I can't remember which one. Oh god, I'm awful at my memory. It was one of them, but I went on. And yeah, then with um, Rebecca and I enjoyed that very much it's pretty much any trip that I went with Rebecca they were all very enjoyable and I loved them uh, on a scale from 1 to 10 rate your childhood I'm s technically still in it so let's go with a 5 half and half because I don't know have you ever been out of the country yes I'm in America, I'm from England. But I guess we moved, so... Yes, I've been out of the country from where I was born. And I went to the Isle of Wight. So, yes, I've been out of the country. Uh, do you speak any different languages? No, I do not. I only speak English fluently, but... I do know a few things from 
I, I do know a few Swedish set of words. Uh, I'm trying to learn Norwegian. Uh, I've learned Spanish and French for a couple of years, so I know Spanish better than Valley French, although I mix them up sometimes. But I know Hamudu is how are you in Swedish. Uh, I know Sava Bien. Um, I know um, Bonjour is hello in French, and Hola is Spanish. Uh, ça va is how are you again, and ça va bien merci, and toi is I am good, thanks, how are you, or and you, and ça va bien merci. That's about much as I can remember to say. Um, I, 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 I don't know. Uh, do you have any siblings? Of course I do. I just, you might have known, I got remembered or guessed, is that the, um, E and the J are my siblings. So the beginning and the beginning, the um, yeah, the J and the E are my brother, and my sister, are James and Elizabeth. Um, did you like school? I mean, who likes school? I mean, seriously, who likes school? But I didn't hate it, I guess. I made some amazing friends. I didn't, though, like the school here. I didn't like the middle school here. It was way too crowded compared to the school I had in England. So, no. I guess I didn't like school here, but I didn't mind it in England. Still didn't like it, though. Who are some of your favourite YouTubers? Well, here we go. Here's a big nice. Let's go with um should we go in order. Let's go in order of my favorite, okay? Let's go in order. Now, I'm going to do an overall one. The Yogs cast. I know they are multiple people, but I can't put them in order of how much I love them. I love them all equally and they have been my favorite YouTubers since forever. Nothing will beat them. I mean, seriously, they are my favourite YouTubers. For for sure. They've been, I've watched them for over four years now. So, of course, they're my favourite YouTubers. They're hilarious. Although, if you're not um, keen on swearing, I, I recommend you don't watch it. <laughs> A lot of these YouTubers, I recommend if you don't like swearing, you don't watch. Because a lot of these YouTubers swear a lot. So, you know... But we won't. We don't swear. Um, second on the list is Things We Play. Uh, a YouTuber that I love, again. He's hilarious and, and all that. Um, he's hilarious and, again, he swears. But he is hilarious. And I've been a new, newish fan to him. But he tops my other my other YouTubers. Just how much he can make me laugh. And it, no matter what video he does, he's he's funny, which is an amazing achievement. Because like even the Yogs cast dipped at some point for me. No, that was sort of when I was going through a point in my life where you know things were weird. I was going through that awkward piece, I guess. I, oh, dude, I'm rambling. Sorry. Um, but third on the list is Jacksepticeye. Now, most of you should know. Those people who are watching this should know who he is. I like his... I love his energetic personality. I love how he's crazy in this sense. And... Uh, he's just of this most genuine youtuber isn't he that's what i love about him that's why he makes number three on my list although i love his personality and i love him in that sense he doesn't top my other two my other uh, my top two number four markiplier again he's funny and he's hilarious he doesn't have as energetic personality and loudness that jack has or sean you know, Jack has, but he makes it as number four. 
I love those videos. I love, just by the way, try not to take any of these personally. I do love all of these YouTubes. I'm just trying to put them into a list of how much I love them. And it's so hard. But definitely, the Oxus will always beat everyone. Yes. <laughs> I love going back in the videos. I've been re-watching some of their series. They never fail to make me laugh or smile. I love them. I really do. But at number five at my list, I'm doing only doing five, is PewDiePie. Now, some of you were probably expecting PewDiePie to be on this list. But, yes, PewDiePie is another YouTuber I had watched. And I had watched him after I had watched, started watching, because the Oxcast were the first YouTubers I ever watched. PewDiePie was next on the list, Markiplier, then Jacksepticeye, and then Things We Play. But the, obviously the list is a little bit different, it goes from PewDiePie, even though I watched him second, he's last on the list. But yeah, this is not, not all of the YouTubers I watch. I love so many more, but if I listed every single one I love, we'd be here for a very long time. <laughs> PC or Mac? PC. What phone do you have? I have an Android. Oh, a bleh, a bleh, a bleh. That, that's, that's the phone I use. Um, how tall are you? I'm five foot one. Do you have any, any pets? I do. Unfortunately, they're all currently over in England. We have a dog, Oscar. We have two cats, Jesse and Chip. And we have a rabbit. Well, my sister has a rabbit, George. I'm going to put this up on my lap, which is most likely how I'm going to do most of my videos. So you're going to see me most likely like this most of the time. Now, just for any of you people who are curious and want to check out my channel, I'll put that in the description below. This has been Melissa from the Dream Team. Like, subscribe, comment. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.